with the sun's out. And although I'm still looking for nests for the long-tailed tits, today I'm hoping to find one of our three type of snakes that we have here in the UK. We have the adder, grass snake, and the smooth snake. Uh, the adder is the only poisonous one out of the three. And that's what I'm here to try and find today. I mean, the venom is only really harmless to the old, the young, and the ill, um, or if you're allergic to the, uh, the venom itself. Now, although they're common throughout a lot of Europe, not so much in the UK. I mean, there's still a vast number of them here, but nothing compared to uh, other parts of Europe. I'm hoping that because the sun is out, that I'll find them basking in the sun, hopefully, maybe possibly along the footpaths. Have to wait and see. I want to try and find a quiet area. It is half term, so there's a lot more footfall than, uh, than I really wanted. We'll see if we can find a tucked away place now they don't like confrontation, they don't want to bite you. And um, although they are deaf, they pick up on vibrations. So generally walking down the path, you won't see them because they'll be long gone by the time you get to where they are. But if you, um, if you go slow and quiet, which I will be because I'll be looking along the sides for nests for the long-tailed tits with a bit of luck, this time of year, prime time of year, I should find some adders. Adders are a 60 to 80 centimetre snake with a diamond patterned back. The males are silvery grey and black, kind of diamond checker plate, um, whereas the females tend to be a bit more kind of a reddish brown. Their, um, their main diet consists of uh, lizards, um, small mammals, ground nesting birds, such as skylarks and meadow pipits. Now adders hibernate between October and the, the first warm days of March. So as we are um, middle of April now, they should be much more active. Now the females incubate their eggs internally and eventually when they do give birth to the live young, the numbers can vary between three uh, and 20 offspring. Now some people say that there's four snakes in the United Kingdom and not three. And I think the one that, that people see uh, and get a bit confused with is the slow worm, which isn't a snake, it's actually a legless lizard. But I think when people see, they see one, they think it's like a, a small snake, when in, fact, um, when in fact it's not. Okay, let's, let's load up, let's have a wander. Now gorse bushes, these are a, a good place to find small birds sitting on the tops. Um, very prickly bush, really bright and vibrant yellow this time of year. And, um, and the petals are completely edible. They, uh, they do contain cyanides, you have to be a little bit careful, only traces of cyanide, not masses of melt. They're a bit celery-like. And I really like them. Although my wife would disagree. Hmm. And the gorgeous fresh silver birch as well, with their young leaves.
There's another one behind me. Let me just film him. But it goes to show that if you're quiet enough with your footsteps and the sun's out, that they do want to bask in the sunshine. So I want to see if I can catch him as well. Now he's gone. Let's keep on going. Now one of the things that I've learned shadow sections, the shadowy parts of the woods, look out for, for sections that are directly in the sunlight. And also don't ignore the smallest of sounds. Because that can also be the adder moving through the undergrowth, finding a sun patch amongst that undergrowth. And also I wear very focal glasses and whilst wearing glasses I can't really see with my peripheral vision which is very important when you're looking for the smallest amount of movement. But the only thing about not wearing my glasses is that every long, slightly curly stick looks like an adder. Okay, let's move on. The secret to this game don't wash. Another thing I like to do is that when I get to a track that I can see a fair ways down, I like to get my binoculars out and I can scout a fair way ahead of me on the track. Not so much in the bushes, but definitely on the track. And the few that I've seen so far have one so I've kind of startled, even though I'm walking slow. The first one I came across, which was by the log, it was only his hissing that made me aware it was there. It was laying next to this other stick that looked almost identical. So when I buzzard, so when I get the chance, I'll get my binoculars out and scan the path as far as I can. just to make sure there's none close by that are on the track that I can then film. And this is a classic example of not ignoring even the smallest of sounds. Now this is the second adder I've seen and I've only been here two and a half hours and as you can see this one has just found himself a little sunspot amongst all the dead ferns he seems quite happy I don't seem to be disrupting him I don't think he can hear my voice because they are deaf and I don't think my voice will cause enough vibration down through my body I'm hoping he's unaware I'm here. I can also hear a rodent, a rat or something, just off to the side. 
Oh yeah, there we go. He's picked up on that rodent. That was cool. That was awesome. I'm always mixed between taking photographs or video footage because I think that would have been a lovely photo. Hopefully, a kind of um, screen grab shot of that 4K footage will be good enough. Okay, let's move on. I was just chatting to a couple and I'm not sure whether I did mention or not um, that where they are in the food chain well pretty much they're only predated on by badgers foxes and birds of prey um, sometimes the smooth snake but generally it's the bird of prey fox and, uh, and badger like to know where words and meanings originate from. And in this case with the adder it's no different. Now the word adder comes from an old English word meaning serpent. Make myself some porridge. Golden syrup, that'll do. I could be making a fresh, a fresh brew, but I bought one with to stick in my bag and then didn't take my bag with me. I went light today, wasn't flying the drone or anything, so. Well, if you've liked today's video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't subscribe and you'd like to, then that would be great. Help me get my numbers up. I hope that today's video has been somewhat informative and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. So thanks for watching. See you soon.